Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Daysim Overview. So since I'm on a vacation, I can't be just spam playing playthroughs now and bring some variety content in terms of just AppLab or side quests in general. But it's becoming harder and harder because AppLab just became a pile of everything. Like at this point, for some reason, side quest content seems to be more adequate and just more quality focused than AppLab itself, which is pretty funny how it turned around recently, especially with this Unity Cube experiment that someone basically made a very basic concept and did an experiment about how hard it's gonna be to get on the app lab store and it was shockingly easy so basically just shows you how oculus wants to take over like not like the competition but everything in general i guess at least we're getting more stuff but at the end of the day do we really care i don't know we'll see i guess so daysim is a strategy god game that essentially revolves around building from the scratch your own empire of civilization by placing adequate tiles on the world that represents certain resources environments weather everything that requires you to progress humanity further it's very resemblant of those strategies on the flat screen, you know, Age of Empires, Anno, Civilization, known concept overall, but Daisy really makes it work in VR. Looking at the surface, it seems like easy or simple, or it's something that is very not challenging mechanically, but the more you play it, the less you want to stop. Like for some reason, it's so addicting to fulfill the needs of your citizens by bringing them resources to progress and then interact with the world and basically just seeing how your own project is going through generations of like Stone Age or just like those human eras. In the beginning, it's a little bit hard to get into simply because the game is really unique on its own but then when you get the basic interactions and just how things work it's very fun to play personally it got me hooked like it's been a while when there was a game that i wanted to play more and just not stop like i don't know what it is about this that pulls me back into vr and it's very surprising that i try it now because it's not like a new game but i wouldn't be surprised if the popularity just skyrocketed because of app lab it really is something that could be on the official store hands down so i'm really happy that i discovered it now and it's just loads of fun so here's my journey with the game press the a button to open the miracles menu now touch that free and press the trigger button why not grab with grab who designed those things like people tend to just switch trigger and grab button for some reason release the trigger button to throw the forest miracle on the empty zone oh okay humans need food to survive oh Wait, why it's here? Can I move? Please. <laughs> Enable movement. Enable grid to grab rotation scale. Why is everything like disabled? Please, I want everything. Can I move now? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna move with trigger then. Now they can build houses. The faith is in danger. Kill the heretic. How? Get out. Go away. Oh. Yeah, that works. We can just throw things and just then it builds. Okay, 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 okay. Got it for now. What's locust? Oh, shit. No. Uh, sorry. Humans are explorers. To build, they need grasslands. So it's basically like a Age of Empires kind of thing. More grass. And they cut down wood. Lovely. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw them more wood then. I wonder if I can do it like on the same place. No. Huh. Can I like destroy the place? Rain. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know if that helped anything. Have a lot of food, but what now? More water. Oh, they build rafts. I guess I'll just build like a lot of forests, maybe. I don't know what people need. Oh, here we go. Something happened here. You need more wood. Sure. But just more forests. I think that's enough for now. This is like the stats. So this is the population. You can start, restart. Okay. Oh, wait. What is this? Some construction site? Or is it just planes with wheat? <laughs> they need stone. Um, do I have stone? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to produce stone. <laughs> I need mountains. Wait, what is this? Hello? Uh, it's a moon. Does it have stone? Oops, I think I killed someone. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we'll have moon there then. <laughs> Why are you just standing? I think they're scared. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, more houses. Okay. Do I can just destroy it for stone? Oh, here we go. Why though? Because those houses are for people, but like I need more stone, so why not? No one's living. Okay, I think they can gather now. Leave the woods, it's fine. <laughs> Will anyone pick the stone or did I just destroy houses for no reason? There's more houses, but <laughs> should I drop it on their head then? Don't be scared. 
Here we go. God damn it. Okay, I'm stopping with the strange homes. Okay, that doesn't work. It's very interesting. Like, it's not very obvious what should I do. There's some bushes. There's just like something going on, but not obvious at all. That's kind of fun that it's not leading you by hand. You really can just sink in hours into it because you just wait for something to happen. Just like, you know, with strategy games. That's just how it works. I don't think I need more water, so I'll just build more grass. Waiting for a miracle to happen. Get it? Sorry, I destroyed your homes. Jesus, don't cry. Mm -hmm. When you throw something, you spend like your gut points or like energy points. So it's not like you can infinitely throw something, but like it replenishes really quickly. So I don't know if it even matters. What's happening there? Oh, okay. They're building another city. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Something's happening. More grass. <laughs> build something. It's kind of hard to make a video on like, you know, strategy game because for the most part nothing is happening, but I'm trying <laughs> something. Maybe we're gonna have like more Mikos later on, but for now it's like evolving. Although I don't know how to build the stone like... Oh, here we go, I have something more. So I get more miracles by just expanding to other cities and just like having a population grow, I'm pretty sure. So here we go, we can go with the mountain. Okay, but I wanna destroy things. What is this, void? Oh, here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Begun land. That's why I have this energy. I could just spam and just destroy things. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Pine forest. A different kind of forest as well. What is this? Regen. Oh, I can regenerate forest. Yes. Hey, this game is becoming more and more interesting. Ice. Oh, we can make it snowy. What do they need? Meat. Animal. <laughs> yes, hunt, hunt them. Oh wow, well, you're a brutal, huh? Damn, they're just killing things everywhere. What I created. What about Thunder? Well, nothing happened. Oh, another village. I need to like respawn animals, Jesus. Why can't you walk through the void? What do they need? Four. I mean, that's animals as well, right? Oh, I can spawn animals in the forest? Yes. Okay, they need a stone. Here we go. You ask, you shall receive. Do they get the four? Hmm, it's not from animals? Why are you just standing? Go to work. Oh, heretic. You can go away. Oh, they need four now. I mean, four is from animals, so that's my logic, but do I need some high quality animals? Or, wait a minute. This four is white. If I will make, like, ice biomes, will it have, like, polar bears? Here we go. What is it? A wolf? <laughs> what? Oh, here we go. So, a polar bear is on a normal icy environment. Okay, 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 got it. Okay. Hunt them. How can you just hunt a bear? Oh, wow. You're a superhero. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be having fur coats by now. Just a couple mountains here. This place looks a little bit messy. <laughs> the trailer showed something more clean, but that's just me. What if I'll throw, like, an animal on the play field? Nothing happens. Need more fur? Jesus Christ. Needy. Just like normal people. You have overload. What do you need? Wood. Oh, wow. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> more miracles. What is heal? Do they just heal anyone from their sorrows or something? Fire. Um. <gasps> oh no. What happens here? Uh, rain. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Copper? Jesus, there's so much going on now. Dude, this game is actually fucking legit. So they're gonna have stone copper. I'm assuming it's gonna be from the volcano, right? Let me delete maybe here something and put a volcano. I mean, won't it cause like disasters? It needs fuel. Do I just grab a fire? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was intended. Okay, what's this? Oh, I can do like a large terrain? Oh wow, okay, we can just do squares, like massive. Oh, mines, I think it was mines, not volcanoes. <laughs> I can't build mines there. Oh, I think this game is not stupid because I think I have to build mines in the mountain, right? No? Well, I am stupid then. Okay, well, maybe on the grass. What? I actually thought it's gonna be in the mountains. Okay, well, normal planes then. Dude, this game's actually addictive, like, I can't stop playing. I mean, that's kinda how it happens with every strategy game, but, like, in VR it's something different. Like, I just wanna build, build, build. I wonder if they can hunt meat from polar bears. Like, is it not meat valid? They need iron now. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> I really like this, like, it seems simple. Not much is going on the surface, but behind this, like, simplistic graphic design and just the concept is so much more. Like, oh my god. This is something that I would play a long time, really. 
actually, and I think I will actually. Being a god and just like, you know, steering the whole world of folk that you command them what to do and just like how to function and give them resources and just creating your own ideas and just concepts. Like that level of creativity and just kind of sandboxy but not really mechanics is very much up my alley. Like with every town coming to play, like there's more and more to do and just like be more occupied. Like it's not like you're gonna be doing nothing for some period of time like I did. Um, excuse me, you're not belong here. Like in the start I was a little bit confused because I was not sure what to do but like that's a good thing that the game does not lead you completely by hand but there's like a vague idea of what to do. I really love that it's on Haplab now because it really is something really fun to play. <laughs> like I see myself playing it a lot so we'll see. I think it's gonna happen more. <laughs>